G'day and welcome to another episode. My name is Dave Stro, the Aussie Geek, and today we are looking at the War for Cybertron Siege Weaponizer 6-Gun. Now, I admit I'd uh, done all the other Metroplex stuff. I'd done Slammer and I'd done Scamper when I did the Metroplex review, but I actually hadn't done 6-Gun yet. So I thought, why not? Let's have a look at 6-Gun and uh, finish off the whole set. Now, I'm not bringing them all back in here Together, you've already seen them hopefully all together in the uh, Metroplex review. If you hadn't, I will put a link up the top there for that. Now, I did do a little research because I don't do research generally. Um, but I did look into the um, explanation for the six guns. So basically, the G1 uh, six gun is made out of um, Metroplex's weapons and a couple of spare parts. So not including the chest and the torso, which were, I wasn't quite, quite tell where that come from. I did watch a video on G1 um, uh, Metroplex, so 1985's Metroplex, um, to get this uh, to get this information. Um, but I, I'm not quite sure where the torso and the chest come from. But basically the legs are his main cannons, which no, they will not serve as main cannons for... Generations Metroplex, you have these two guns, which would actually form more lists together, which will deal eventually, which is actually the side guns that actually sit on the sides of his shoulders. Um, and the last one is these two, which would just be one whole piece, um, which I think might have gone on to one of his shoulders somewhere. I'm not quite sure. But yeah, that's the six guns. So two, four, six. And they were meant to be accessory stuff for uh, leftover parts for Metroplex. Um, which, of course, none of these will actually fit. Well, you could probably... Well, there's not really any 5mm ports, but these are not definitely not doing what they were originally supposed to do. So this is a Siege figure, and he is a weaponizer. I am not going through all the various combinations and whatnot. The instructions are God know where. So if you like this guy as a weaponizer, that's amazing and great, but I'm not going through all that extra steps to see how it fits together with one. You do have ports everywhere. You have one here, here, here. Uh, where else have we got some? I know I've seen a lot more than that. Uh, here, you probably have a couple here. Uh, obviously on the end of the guns. Um, you probably put something on those. Um, but yeah, so if you've got those part effects, you can definitely use those so you can get shot up and whatnot. It's up to you. So there we go. So as for, we might as well do size comparison, and then we'll do accessories. So here he is with the MP10. So he's uh, gone from head height, back crutch height, give or take. Okay, so also unlike um, uh, COGS, COG, which had one transformation, yet two separate parts, which apparently had different names. So too late for that now. This is why I need to do research. Um, and um, uh, I've forgotten the name of Scorpinox Fast Lane. Uh, having a third mode, this guy just has one mode with the weaponized stuff. So, it's, like I keep saying, I'm pretty sure Fast Lane slash whatever you the other one's called is technically the only um weaponizer that actually has a legitimately second mode if you don't include cog's ability to split in half being two vehicles so there is that all right so articulation and he's actually pretty tight and everything his head can do a full 360 can't go up or down left or right um so can do a full 360 it feels like it's ratcheted but it definitely isn't um arm gets that far you have bicep rotation. You have single jointed elbow that gets you that far. Um, no in and out. You have, just pull his gun out for a second. Nothing at the wrist, it's one solid piece. So no fingers or any of that. It's just a clump. You have waist rotation. If we get this all out of the way. Leg can go up that far. They can they can go that way. They can go out this way if you twist it a little bit. 
He has thigh rotation, and that will possibly pop that out. You have single joint knee that gets you that far. He has ankle tilt that is just stupidly crazy. He has foot toe down and toe way up. And unfortunately, due to toe down, it doesn't have a locking point, so it just wants to keep sliding further. So there we go. And of course, you can arm him up however you prefer. You have these guns here. You can take both of these off. And you have these guns here. Um, we will, we'll, ironically, for the sake of it, I'll just pull one leg off. But you have literally the gun here. If you flip out this tap. My words are not working right now. This port right here, and you can flip that down if you want. There you go. Gun. So that will work for you and pretty much anybody. He can probably even hold his own leg. Let's have a look. I'm pretty sure he can. He can hold his. There you go. You can arm him up with his own leg. He can't. Ooh, I was going to say, I wonder if I can do that, but no. It's going to be a bit of a balancing. Thing. There you go. He can shoot someone from a weird angle. So <laughs> take that for it worth. But yeah, yes, being a weaponizer, you can use that. And that is the original intention for his legs in the first place, since they were supposed to go into Metroplex's um, hands as his actual handguns, which are obviously these ones are a bit too small to complete that purpose. So you can have this how you want looks. You can fold. These down if you want a more of a cleaner look here. Of course, you can put the arms the other way and twist those around. So it's up to you how you want to display him. So my knees are a little, my thighs, whatever you want to call them, are a little loose-ish now. I've had this guy for what, quite at least five years now. I can't remember when did Siege come out. Still haven't watched the War for Cybertron series. So take that for what it's worth. But I don't have Netflix. So that is also take that for what it's worth. And of course you have ports. So here, oh, I forgot this one for that. You know, this one. So you can literally try and do a Galvatron if you want. Or you can stick your guns up here. Like that if that's what you prefer. So all sorts of choices. Go nuts. Here's a weaponizer. Come up with some crazy combinations. Um, heck, you could even probably take one of these guns and stick it in the back of here if you want. Um, so there you go. Plus, you got ports under here for part effects and other good things as well. So there we go. All right, let's get this guy to transformation. And being a weaponizer, you do have to pull a good portion of this guy apart. However, I did come up with a conclusion that there's you, you can untab the legs, but you don't actually have to untab the legs if you don't want to. So what we will do is we're going to untab the arms, like so, and we are going to pull these pieces up. And you want to rotate the head, so you have the back of his head, and preferably focused. And what you can do is, this actually separates, so you get another port here. But that's going to sit against there, so you can lift this up. And it will be a little bit awkward, but you want to get this up as well. Or you can just pull the whole thing off. And all that's going to do is that's going to fold up and cover the face. And you get another port, and there's another one, and another one, and another one. And you can use that for its own little flying thing. All right, so when it comes to the legs, and I'm just... thought I saw some... What's his name for a second there? So you're going to, because I think you actually need, you're going to actually unplug the guns. Yeah, we're going to take the guns off. All right, so you have these ports here and you have these tabs here. So what you're going to do is you're going to fold this up so they're all nice and straight. Now, like I said, you don't have to do this, but it can, if you want to do it, it's up to you. But you're going to twist the waist because if you twist the legs, you're actually going to get these pieces on the inside, which is going to cause you trouble, and they don't tab into each other. So you can, like I said, pull that and do it the other way, but we're going to do this connected. So this tab is going, port is going to go into here. So just bend the knee until it lines up, and 
plugs in. Same on the other side. I have to push that knee down a little bit, but it will line up like so. And it's up to you. You can fold these down. I'm going to. And there we go. Just double checking where I'm looking at things. Then we're going to take this and you have this port tab for this port. So that's going to slip onto there. So all this is going to come underneath. And then we'll fix up the arm. So you're going to unplug these and you take these, just bend the bicep first, plug these in this way. So the, tap, the handle is going to go into its forearm like so. And do the same here. Like I said, you don't have to do this. It's entirely up to you what you want to do like so. And then we're going to take one of the, each of these guns. And we're just going to plug them like so. And then what you're going to do is you're going to use this tab to go into this port. And just if you want to keep things clean, make sure this is facing down. So that plugs into there. And this plugs into here. So basically the arms are reversed. So that gets us this plane jet Cybertron thing, which honestly, considering that six gun was just leftover parts, that's actually pretty good. I quite like that. Um, you can always, if you want, I don't know if I can, no, it wouldn't work. I was going to say, you'll probably get those tabs under here, but then you'd have to pull all this off, which that doesn't work. But yeah, so it just means you have more spots to plug things. So if you really wanted to, you could take that and plug that on there. You could take these off and plug them on here. So it looks like he's got more blast power that way. You can put guns in here. So you can leave these in there if you want. Um, you can take these and somehow plug them in there. You can plug those on there. But da -da 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 -da. it's a weaponizer. You know, enjoy your experiences and expect and the experimentation to go nuts. Although I don't know why my legs always seem like they're weirdly angled, even though they're tabbed in the way they're supposed to. So there we go. So as for size comparison, here he is with Windblade. And eh, apart from being a little bit shorter, she's actually just a little bit short, skinnier than he is. So take that for what it's worth. Hmm. So there we go. So let's get this guy back into robot mode. Um, so I'm just going to unplug the arms again and we're going to pop off the canopy and we'll start with the legs and go down. So we're going to untab those again and you can flip out the legs. Of course, if you wanted to, you could have always put the legs that way. It's up to you. Um, then we can rotate the waist and of course you have, you know, this in here which I never use you can use that for guns like I said he's a weaponizer go nuts with it it's up to you how you want to experiment with it all right so we're going to take the canopy if I can even stand it and all we're going to do is plug this back into here like it was and this doesn't at all tab in at all here so and then you can just flip this down until that's flat against the back and this is partly why you dropped this. Now, there is no locking points for the barrels. Um, it does have a sort of a bit of friction, but I think it's actually more the um, this side of the pin because that one's like really, you know, relatively loose. That one's like crazy tight, but it doesn't tighten when I get to here. It's more once it's moving on general. Um, because of the backpack, if you want to, you can always flip this up. It just means it's going to be having a white piece back here. Um, you can't get these up very far, but you can angle them that way if you want, and you can have some weird boosters. Anywho, so then we're going to bring these down, and you have these tab here for this port, and it's pretty tight, but there we go. Then you can bring this down, and most of the time, that's going to bring that all down like so, and we can... Turn his head back around. I, like, I do like his face. His face does look really cool. Then we can bring the shoulder joints down. Like that. It feels like my knees aren't quite where they're supposed to be. Either that or my hips. Either that or I'm just 
not balanced. So where is the feet? It's because there's no proper locking points for those feet. Stay. I think it's partly misbalanced. It shouldn't be. It's like the hips. Maybe you've got some, somehow of maybe the hip joint. I don't think so. Weird. Very weird. Anywho, so then we take our arms. And like I said, you can leave these in here if you want. And once again, you can have, you know, the wings facing this way, the wings facing that way. I do it that way because that's the way it's supposed to look. And that just plugs that in there and my leg come off. I think a bit of nail polish on that joint would be a good idea. And then take this one and plug that one in. Then we're just going to put these guns back the way we were. I do like putting the handles to the back so it's literally just hides the handles a bit more. And of course, if you really want to get these on, all you have to do, flip that bicep up, bring that down, and voila, you can be weaponed again. If I can get it, I'm doing that real weird. But you can literally leave it like that way, that if you want. Heck, if you want, and I did that weird too. For those of you who are striker fans from Mortal Kombat or um what's her name starts with an o um the flat orchid that's it orchid you can literally turn them backwards and you can give him a tonfa so there's that option too i don't do it heck you can even do it that way if you want um but yeah go nuts i will say that i want to say that six gun is the most playable when it comes to his components, like he does feel like you can mess around a lot. Oh, by the way, if you're not sure which way these legs are supposed to go, apart from these sticking out, just check the ankle tilt. That'll tell you which way his legs are supposed to be. There you go. It's a bit more comfortable with an A stance. Normally he's riding Metric Plex's red cannon, so take that for what it's worth. Anyway, so there we go. Not a very long video, but just a nice video. Sometimes it's just nice to do these sort of videos, especially considering I don't know exactly know when uh, Fans Toys Scourge is coming out, and I have him pre-ordered, and I'm seeing reviews of him everywhere, and considering how he transforms, this is just nice. So uh, there we go. So if you liked this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, give me a thumbs down. I promise you it will not hurt my feelings. Subscribe, ring that bell, leave me a comment. But apart from that, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.